hitting the brakes to move forward. That was the introduction to a LinkedIn post from the president and CEO of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Stephanie Pope. Pope went on to explain that in March, Boeing's 777X team began certification testing of the Dash 9's braking system. Such activity is, of course, routine and standard with any aircraft certification process, and, well, perhaps not as impressive as bringing a 747 or A380 to a full stop. However, it still makes for an interesting and fascinating sight to see. It's also a reminder that Boeing is steadily making progress with getting its new twin jet into service. The late March social media post states, This month, our team began certification testing of the braking system on the new 7779, which will be the world's largest twin-engine passenger airplane and deliver a 20% fuel efficiency improvement. Hope goes on to explain that Boeing teams have already thoroughly tested the system in Boeing's engineering evaluations. However, these recent tests are being conducted with U.S. Federal Aviation Administration personnel on board, the result of the FAA expanding type inspection authorization for the 777, confirming the airplane's readiness. In this phase of certification testing, Boeing is demonstrating, or perhaps by now has demonstrated, the safety and reliability of the 777's aerodynamics, brakes and engines, ensuring compliance to rigorous regulatory requirements. To date, Pope says that 777X test and evaluation teams have conducted more than 1,300 flights across 3,700 flight hours, adding that tests have included braking in wet and dry conditions, landing in heavy crosswinds, and taking off at high and low speeds. The FAA has detailed requirements for brake testing and certification. In an advisory circular titled Brakes and Braking System Certification Tests and Analysis, the regulator notes that for the most severe landing case, the applicant should address effects and consequences of typical single and multiple failure conditions that are foreseeable events and can necessitate landings at abnormal speeds and weights. The critical landing weight for this condition is the maximum takeoff weight, less fuel burned and jettisoned during a return to the departure airfield. A 30-minute flight should be assumed, with 15 minutes of active fuel jettisoning if equipped with a fuel jettisoning system. According to Boeing's documentation on the 777, the aircraft's maximum design takeoff weight is 775,000 pounds or 351,534 kilograms. The jet's maximum design landing weight is 587 pounds or 266,258 kilograms. In late February, it was reported that Boeing's 7779 certification program remains on track to wrap up by early 2026. The information came from CEO Kelly Ortberg, who emphasized that the company is engaging the FAA's new leadership to help ensure its current timeline will not change. Have you ever been on a flight that required excessive or emergency braking? What was the experience like? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.